Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am jumping into my first journal with me video in the new Grow Girl collection. I'm very excited to work in my journal today, although I have to admit something to you. I have already filmed four journal with me videos. I was all ready to start editing them and getting them up on my channel. And somehow I was working too fast and not paying attention when I was transferring the files and I actually deleted the first two of four videos. So I was incredibly discouraged about that and I'm like, no, I already had those videos done. So today what I'm going to do is re-film that first intro video. It really bums me out that Oh, there's just nothing I can do about it. It's gone. It's gone forever. So what I did originally in the first video I shared was decorate the inside cover and do something fun with the seed packet that came in the collection. So I'm actually going to just duplicate what I did a little bit in my journal. At first I was wondering, should I just start a new journal? But no. Instead of working on the front cover, since I've already done that, I will do something on the back cover, and then I will just create another spread like I did in my original video. So after I cried the blues to myself for a couple days, I decided <laughs> that I needed to film this video because I'm in the middle of a time crunch. So I'm not going to share with you the things I've already filmed in this journal. I don't wanna ruin any surprises for what's to come, but I am going to do the back cover. I do enjoy having a pocket on the back cover, so that's what we're going to do today, and we'll just jump into it. It just means that I get to open another kit for myself. <laughs> that's all right. So, one of the items I have not looked in this pack yet. There's a couple journaling cards, and I really like this. It's the little things in life, that's a pretty one. And then the other one I got was the details, and it's a little list. I think I'll save that for something else. And I think I will keep that out. There's lots of little creative, fun packages here. One of the items in the kit is a seed packet, and I think that's what I'm going to use. Very pretty vintage French label. I've already gone through all of the elements in this month's collection. If that's something you missed and you would be interested in seeing what's available in the March journal collection, I will leave a link to those in the description box down below if you wanna check that out. So like I mentioned, I'm going to use the seed packet on the back cover. And I enjoy folding this how you would, if you were using it to store seeds, you would fold it closed. But I like to fold mine backwards so it has a seed packet look and it's not closed and I can use it for a pocket. I always enjoy that. The ink color that I'm using a lot in this journal is Mowed Lawn, which is a Distress Oxide ink color. That's the one I have. It's a Distress ink color too, but I have the Oxide ink. So I'm just going to ink up my bag really quick. because that flap is going to hang over I definitely want to ink that up separately and then this little top edge and then like usual for me I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue for those of you who are new to my channel I love Fabri-Tac glue because it's acetone based instead of water based which means when I'm working in my journals it doesn't wrinkle my papers on the other side that always it just I know it doesn't bother everybody but I like it better than regular glue and it grabs really quickly I enjoy that the only annoying thing about it is it gets gummy when you start to get low on your bottle it will thicken up a little bit but all you have to do is add some regular 100% acetone nail polish remover and it thins it right back out again. So I've actually done that to a few bottles that I've <laughs> had sitting around on my shelf. Okay, and then there are some tags and cards that are in this collection. Let's see, does this fit in here? I've never tried it, but it sure does. I think this time around, I will turn this time card into a tag. 
So these are pretty long. I'm just going to trim it down. I'm not gonna measure it or anything. Trim that down a little bit. Okay, and then because there is writing on both sides of the card, I'm just going to glue this down to some coffee dyed paper. And I just wanna say a big thank you to all of you who purchased this month's collection and everyone who has given me feedback on it that you love it and that you enjoy it and that you can't wait to play in it I appreciate all of those comments so much I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing how you enjoy it so thank you so much okay so I'm just going to trim around this card and then I'm probably going to ink it up and then I didn't really, I was talking. I didn't do a good job getting glue next to the edges. So after my card is dry, I might go back in and do some machine stitching just to make sure that my paper stays in place. And I am not that careful with edging my stuff with ink. I just really like the way that it makes um, the paper stand out and gives it a little bit of contrast. So that's what I do. And for now, I'm just going to stick that in there. I'll sew that after the glue dries. And then, like I said, this journaling card, I really like that. So I think I'm going to ink the edges on this as well and glue that to my seed packet. Nice and simple, but the papers are so beautiful. They are kind of doing all the work for me this time. So I think it was in the first video where I was mentioning my February videos where I did 14 journal with me videos in a day. Those were so much fun. And again, I loved hearing from you guys and how much you enjoyed those. I am not going to decorate this journal as heavy as I did that one because I wanted to be able to write more in it. <laughs> My February journal is very heavily decorated, which I love for its purpose, but I need to have a writing one. I'm almost done with the one I've been writing in. So I think I'm going to use this doily on this page. The problem is it's a little too big, so I'm going to trim it. And I have to be really careful using this paper trimmer so I like to start in the middle, and I did tear it up a little bit, but that's okay. And again, I'm going to ink it. This time, I'm gonna grab my little scrap piece of plastic and just very carefully lay some ink down on the edges. Maybe a little bit on the doily itself. It's very white. <laughs> When you put that ink on there, it really shows how white it is. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to glue this down. I have a hard time gluing down doilies because they're so messy and you, the glue gets all over your hands, but it is worth it to me. I like having it on the pages. So what I do is I just kind of messily add the glue to the edges of the doily. And because this glue is so thick that I'm using, I just go right over the holes and I don't worry about it too much. I make sure to get the edge really well because I can clean it up with a baby wipe after I put it in place. And I've had good luck with that. So then I just have my wet baby wipe and the ink that I used is that Distress Oxide ink. So it does react with water, but it doesn't pull up too much ink that it bothers me. And this wet wipe helps get that extra glue off of the paper so it doesn't stick to the other pages or the cover. All right, so now my glue is dry on this tag. I think I'm just going to round the corners. This is just a corner rounder that I've gotten off Amazon and I've mentioned it before, but I do really like this thing. It's lasted me a long time and it's rounded a lot of corners. So I always have somebody ask. I'll leave a link for that down below if you're interested. And now I'm just going to take this over to my sewing machine and stitch the edges. Okay, 
there's my stitched tag and I do think to make it look a little bit more tag-like I am going to punch in the center all right I like that so now I am going to make a little tuck spot out of the seed packet I did this in my last video and I do like how it turned out so I'm just gonna see if I can pull it off again Obviously, you could use this in the same way that I used this and just make a little tuck spot pocket out of it. You could add it to the top of the page and lift this. I'm not having good luck lifting this little flap like I did the first time. There. And I'm just going to try to open this up without cutting through my <laughs> the front side of my seed packet. And you could fold that up and then just glue that down as a tuck spot. But I'm going to open mine up all the way. Hopefully. <sighs> and I tore it. I didn't tear it the first time. That's okay. And I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife again. Now I could, since I tore my edge here, I think I might just glue that down. That way I don't have to worry about it catching on anything. So I'm just gonna use my tape runner and glue that to the underside. All right, so I'm going to work on this page and I am going to adhere this across both pages to make a double tuck. I'm gonna start by using my Mode Lawn ink again. and just kind of ink up the edges here a little bit. And then this definitely isn't a step that is necessary, but I'm going to take mine over to my sewing machine and just stitch across the top and the bottom to make it look like it was stitched to the page. All right, so that is how that turned out. And I'm just going to trim my threads here and then we can glue it in place. Because I am making this a double tuck, I am only going to add my glue to the top and bottom. going to try to center it and I'm just going to use my wet wipe again because I add the glue over my thread it actually comes through the holes a little bit but just like the doily I can blot it up now I am going to use these two tags these are tags that came from Hobby Lobby they are the paper studio brand they're Hobby Lobby's brand and I am going to cut them down and add them to my pockets here. Again, I'm not really measuring anything and I'm just going to cut them at the same time. We'll see how these work. There, I like those. So again, I'm just going to use my ink pad here. Like that. Now I think I'm going to use some of the fibers that came in the collection and tie them into my tags. I really love these spring colors. <laughs> I'm loving the green and the yellow and even that touch of gray in there. So something I already discovered is this gray piece here is actually multiple pieces. You can get like three or four pieces out of it. <laughs> So I love that. I'm going to tear mine apart again. And I like the green eyelash trim. Actually, I already used that though in a different video that will be coming soon. I think I'm going to use the pink and the yellow and the gray. 
And because I'm doing both tags, I'm just going to cut these in half. So I have a little bit of room to work with. My big clumsy fingers never really want to <laughs> string these fibers very easily. Okay, that's one. And two, and I am just going to add a touch of glue so these strings don't go anywhere. dry these a little bit and then since I'm not going to close it I'll just put them glue side up for now so I can trim my strings all right so I let that dry a little bit and I like it so that is how I decided to use my seed packet here, I will show you the other one I did now that I finished. That's what I did the first time and I like it. I like it blank because it gives me more space to write and on the front cover, this is what I did. I used a smaller doily. I've mentioned these in a previous video but these are four inch doilies and I picked this package up over at Walmart in the cake decorating aisle. So I really love these doilies. I love how they fit on the book pages. So that is my video for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that those of you who purchased this collection are enjoying it as well. And I hope that it put a smile on your face because I had so much fun putting this one together. My mom and I both did. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget the Etsy links will be in the description box down below if you're interested and in this collection at all. Otherwise, you guys, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.